what were your thoughts on Danny Gray? Had you heard of him? Um, what were your thoughts when you saw some of his tape, and uh, how do you think he'll help the Niners? Man, it, it, it was it was a little uh, distracting to have an initial feeling and thought about it when we very first picked him. We were live when he got picked. It was me, 49er-minded, and Bay Area Baller. And Bay Area Baller was so juiced up, man. I think all I could do was just start laughing, you know. Uh, <laughs> Not na- laughing at just the whole energy of it, man. It's like I'm a, I almost, man. I, I was just, uh, w- we were happy, we were excited. Um, 49er minded, man. He was, he, he rode with me on, you know, I think we were on four plus hours, wow. you know, and uh, he was mentioning Danny Gray the whole draft. So, uh, props to 49er minded. He, he wanted, he wanted him, you know, bad, you know, and it happened, man. So it, it, it was a great moment to watch that happen. Um, I think most of us 49er fans, uh, regardless of uh, the noise of Debo staying or Debo leaving, that uh, that we that we wanted to see a speed receiver. It's something we probably haven't seen since uh, who uh, Goodwin, maybe. Yep, Goodwin. You know, and uh, you know, I, I feel like um, someone like Danny Gray could do a lot more than Goodwin. Uh, no, you know, no disrespect to Goodwin. You know what I'm saying, but. Um, that, uh, I was looking at, I had him in a few mock drafts as well. Danny right. Gray, you know, I kept, I kept on going back and forth from Danny Gray and Calvin Austin mm. and I kept, I, think we picked every, him up too. I kept, go, yeah, yeah. I kept going back and forth between the two and every time I would put it on a mock draft, I'd put Danny Gray. And so, Hey man, we did it. I'm super excited. We could uh, take the top off of the defense something we have not seen in I don't know how long probably who was you know who was one of the dudes who had a real good deep ball maybe Kaepernick had a yeah. decent deep ball yep. but I mean you know we could go all the way back to Jeff Garcia since it's been a time that we've seen um 30 plus touchdowns from a quarterback and things like that so so I'm just juiced up to see uh, you know, a speed receiver matched up with Trey Lance with the big arm that Trey Lance got. It feels like we did exactly with Danny Gray what we did with uh, TDP. You know, that that was one person we kind of didn't have. You know, we, we, we didn't have a power back. We went and got him. We didn't have a speed receiver. We went and got him. Now I look at this offense like, what do we not have? Right. You know, it, hey, man, it, it, it's uh, beautiful. Beautiful pick, man, for sure, man. He, he he's a on top of it. Sometimes you hear speed, but he's a dog too. He seemed like a dude who is gonna work, and you know who's hungry, stupid hungry. So I'm excited, man. Let me give the faithful out there a stat: the 49ers last year with Jimmy G under center ranked 30th in vertical routes run. Uh, I think that number will drastically change with Trey Lance under center. We know. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? We know that Trey Lance can definitely throw the deep ball. Uh, you know, Trent Sherfield, he signed with the Miami <laughs> Dolphins. I know the faithful are really upset that we won't see Travis Benjamin in, in the red and gold anymore. Um, hey, he could come back, but that he was basically our speed threat last year. Uh, and with hey. the drafting of Danny Gray, I think that that pretty much solved that. He ran a 4-3-9 in the 40, uh, and I think this will help uh, – it will help the offense not only stretch the field, uh, Gray will take the top off the defense, and also I don't think teams will be able to put eight or nine guys in the box anymore. I don't think they'll be able to do that. You're going to have to have a corner on Gray and a safety over the top, that's for sure. Um, And I can't wait to see these two guys um, connect on some deep ball. (laughs) 